Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to study the gram-positive cocci. The word gram-positive cocci is basically made up of three words, gram, positive and cocci. So gram means the gram staining procedure, positive means the purple color and cocci means a round in shape. So these are the bacteria uh, which on the process of the gram staining, when we stain them with the, through the process of the gram staining, they give purple color and they are round in shape. So you can appreciate the difference between the gram negative which are the pink in color and the gram positive bacteria which are purple in color and these bacteria are round in shape. So on the gram staining procedure, these bacteria they give purple color and they are round in shape and this purple color is because of the presence of the thick peptidoglycan layer uh, which is present in the gram positive bacteria. On the basis of the catalyst test, the gram positive bacteria they are classified into Staphylococcus and the Staphylococci. Staphylococci they are catalyst positive where the Staphylococci are catalyst negative. The other difference between the staphylococci and the streptococci are the staphylococci they are in the form of the grape like clusters while the streptococci they are in the form of the chain as you can appreciate in the diagram that the staphylococci are in present in the form of the clusters while the streptococci they are in the form of the chains. Now on the basis of the coagulase test, the staphylococci, they are further classified as coagulase positive staphylococci and the coagulase negative staphylococci. Staph aureus is the coagulase positive staphylococci while the staph epidermidis and staph saprophyticus are the coagulase negative staphylococci. If we classify or we differentiate the uh, squagulase negative staphylococci, staph epidermidis is novobicin sensitive and the staph saprophyticus is novobicin resistant. On the basis of the hemolysis on the blood agar, the streptococci are classified and he means the blood and the lysis means the breakdown. So we take the blood agar to look at the hemolysis. They are further classified into three important groups, alpha hemolytic, beta hemolytic and gamma hemolytic. Alpha hemolysis means incomplete or the green hemolysis, while beta hemolysis means complete lysis of the RBCs and the gamma hemolysis means no hemolysis. If there is complete lysis of the RBCs, there is a clear zone and if there is incomplete hemolysis, uh, hemolysis uh, we can see the green color zone of the bacteria. So, uh, you can appreciate the alpha hemolysis, beta and the gamma hemolysis from the colors. Alpha hemolysis means the green or the partial hemolysis in which we classify them into the streptococcus pneumoniae and the streptococcus viridis. While the beta hemolysis means complete or the clear hemolysis in which group A streptococci, they are the step pyogenes and the group B streptococci are the step A clactic. And the gamma hemolysis is the no hemolysis in which we have the enterococci in which have the further species enterococcus fecalis and the enterococcus fischium. To differentiate between the streptococcus pneumoniae and the viridis, we have the bile solubility test. Uh, step pneumonia is bile soluble while the step viridens is not bile soluble. Uh, step pneumonia is optogen sensitive while the step viridens is optogen uh, resistant. And the step pneumonia it has a capsule around it to see that capsule it gives a calling reaction which is positive. To differentiate between the beta hemolytic uh, group A and the group B streptococci, we have a basitracin uh, disc uh, in which the group A streptococci, which are the uh, uh, streptococcus pyogenes, they are basitracin sensitive, and the group B, which are the uh, streptococcus A glacti, they are basitracin resistant. Thank you.